What's up, everybody? I am Sniggenhoff. Welcome back to us playing the Manchu. I'm sorry I don't have a quip for you today. I started the video without thinking of one, so we're quipless. My bad. Um, in the last episode, we went to war with Korea, and we finished eating them up. Korea is no more. Um, and we put down some rebellions. We took out some corruption to pay off some loans. And we're moving on from there. We do have a... The Korean Separatists are getting ready to fire. They're going to fire no matter what we do. Everybody else is pretty tame, so that's nice. And once we finish up all these cores, our corruption will get ticked down a lot faster as well. Uh, examination of administrators. The Chinese have long felt a good way to ensure effective administrators according to Confucian ideals, is to hold general examinations for all administrators. This works well for a country with generations of experience to draw upon something we do not have. The lack of both administrators and teachers might be remedied, remedied by attracting some of those that have failed the examinations in neighboring countries, but we would be paying a high price for an uncertain commodity. So we either hire the Confucian teachers, um, we lose 90 ducats, we get negative 10 national tax modifier, and minus five core creation cost. But remember, we can't really go to war for another nine years. So that may not be the best, or we can just gain the five prestige. I'm going to gain the five prestige. Um, our, we had war targets, then Chagatai decided to get bigger again. So we can't, we have really no, no one to declare war on other than the Ming uh, for nine years. So we would be starting the war as that uh as that modifier was running out so not really much we can do there negative 2.3 geez um what does suny get me trade efficiency trade efficiency and chance of a new air i will pass uh, this tax modifier and tolerance of heathens, tolerance, to, well, the tax modifier is nice. Tolerance of heathen, heathens is fine. Yearly horde unity is not bad. I still really like this regiment costs. Um, do I not have any rivals anymore? I think I have one. Just Ashikaga. Thankfully, like, it doesn't say I, I can rival the Ming, and Ming hasn't rivaled us yet. That would be slightly terrible. Once these guys get up to 90%, I'll raise maintenance. Oh, it would be great. Oh, they're up to 90%. I'll raise maintenance. Uh, it would be great, I was about to say, if our cores could finish before they fire, but that's probably not going to happen. I think they're all going to be in the south as well. Well, they're probably going to fire like in either one or two centralized locations. How many troops do I have at this point? 30 out of 44? Which is big enough to take on any, but any of these little guys, but pales in comparison to what the Ming have. Who are you improving with? No guy. Has the devastation? It has. But they fired on our forts, so we can just go attack them there. That's fine. We got all the cores finished except for that one right there. And also, we do have some infantry as banners now, so that's cool. Go 30 on 30. What does their general look like? A 1003 siege. Jeez, we definitely need to get down there. But our 152 should be more than enough to handle him, along with our extra discipline from our troops. And that's it. We only lost 4,000 troops while we killed 30,000. Seems pretty decent. And lower that all the way back down. Go back up to there. We don't need this fort anymore. Well, let's let this devastation tick down. I don't know if, yeah, the having a fort in the province also affects it. Dip diplomatic reputation goes up. Convert that to Tengri or unite the Manchu tribes. 
Um, how much would it cost for me to bump up my stability? It would cost 120 because of the religious unity and because of corruption, mostly. Um, man. But if I could... Okay, let me see. How much Tining is the one it wants me to convert? Sort by name. Oh, I saw it and then... It is minus 0.3. Okay. Yeah, we're going to do that. Convert that place to Tengri. Oh, but it's still 555 months. Jeez. Because of 0 0.02. Can we hire a... No, we cannot. We'd really like a missionary advisor. I mean, 555 months. That's, uh... I mean... It's a really long time. Is that like 50 years? <laughs> um, that's not gonna be able. To, that's not gonna be doable. Poopy face. Um, we could really use the extra missionary strength. That's one reason I'm thinking about taking religious ideas. Is for the extra missionary strength and missionary strength versus heretics. Um, because we're gonna be, especially the lands we're conquering. It's just gonna be so much religious diversity as we continue to conquer west like we're gonna be a big sunni area um if we end up down here in the south a big buddhist area if we end up in end up in uh india hindu and shia if we keep going west we'll end up with orthodox and catholic um and we can only have one syncretic religion and i kind of still want to get back to what the point where we have no syncretic faith to get the extra 20 percent regiment costs uh so that's kind of why I'm thinking about taking um, religious ideas next. Because these conversions are going to be kind of important, especially as our religious unity drops even lower. Um, let's cancel the mission again. There's, I mean, we can't, we can't complete it right now, unfortunately. And right now we're kind of just chilling for 10 years. Ryukyu wants an alliance. I'm not going to ally, uh, ally a little one province minor that can't help me whatsoever. And we'll keep on rolling. Making two ducats a month. Corruption's taken down by a lot. Basically takes us four years to get rid of one corruption with the way it's ticking down. Um, so in like 40 years, our corruption will be completely gone. Kind of a long-term, long-term investment, but hopefully it'll be worth it. Let's fix our money issues. Our horde unity is dropping so fast. And our gen, our wonderful general died. Kind of sucks. Could raise host again. Get five free cav and, uh, and a new general. But I kind of don't need to do it, at least right now. I have this guy. I mean, four fire isn't great, but he is a siege general. Have I had him the whole time? Have I been doing sieges without a siege general? It's possible. It's very possible. Um, one thing we could do, now that we have money, is start trying to build some buildings. Uh, any good places? Oh, I forgot about this. They changed it. You don't have to look on the map anymore to see where the best provinces are. You can just see the best places to build stuff in your territories. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and build a temple there for sure. Start trying to get our local economies up. Let me check on something else. Let me see if prosperity is ticking up in any of these provinces. It is. We're at 46% towards prosperity here. Once we get, once it's prosperous, um, we get uh, minus 10 development costs, plus 25% goods produced, and monthly autonomy change. Any other states that are ticking, down, ticking up in prosperity? Uh, let me go to the states map mode. Illin Halla, South Illin Halla is, North Illin Halla is, yeah. Getting some prosperity in places. Korea is not, I don't think, oh, prosperity can't take up if it's not in a state. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. On pause. I would love for this state to start taking up in prosperity. Another thing we could think about, although we're doing a diplomatic group right now, um, the states that we have... That's regions, states, and territories. The states that we have, um, those are the places we can summon banners from. 
So um, places that we have as a state, we want to think about con culture converting to Manchu if they are not already. Um, but for now, we're not going to do that because we are doing a diplomatic idea group and it costs dip diplomatic power to culture convert. Uh, we can accumulate money, 191 ducats for 10 prestige, sure. So no more spending money for a little while. And 314 towards the last one of this. March of 1498 and May of 1496. Rightful ownership, we're going to do it again. Uh, our rightful land is still under the rule of our liege. Um, liege, not liege. Uh, Let's request it. They refuse it this time. We lose 10 prestige and we gain 15% liberty desire. What is our liberty desire? Our liberty desire is like 90%. But I don't want to become not a tribute, tributary of Ming, because if we become not a tributary, it's likely Ming will be like, oh, you look tasty. I will eat all of you. And that doesn't seem all that great. What's the... What's the trigger for starting a Golden Era? Is it having like three of these unlocked? Or two of these unlocked? Or gaining a certain amount of Splendor? Or is it having three of these? I'm not sure. Discovered an agent, discovered an agent, that's fine. Sure, take all my admin power. Who needs admin anyway? Oh, you get power projection from a fulfilling age, age objectives. That's awesome. What else can we do while we wait? I mean, we're kind of just stuck. Um, it's unfortunate that Chagatai conquered the land that they did. They are at war with the Timurids right now, and it looks like they're taking them to town as well. We have to wait for another five years to be able to do anything with them. But once we do, I mean, we have have a pretty wide open expansion from there. Although we're almost butting up against Muscovy at that point, who is the number three ranked world power. But possibly we could end up with an alliance with Muscovy against against Ming. Maybe that's somebody I should be improving with is Muscovy. Ming has embraced the Renaissance. Go ahead and let me... Uh, okay, we're going to have to put down some peasants real quick. Our army maintenance up to full. Major revolt. Six peasants in Ilhiri and six peasant revolts in Chinju. Where is Il... Nope, I did not spell it right. Nope, still didn't spell it right. I-H... We're just gonna split split the army in half, send half of it there, and Chengju down over there. And we'll just wait until they're in position and fully reinforced to hit this button. And we'll put it down pretty quick. Horde is not unified. Khan has proven himself unable to keep the Manchurian tribe and the tribe's worry that we are becoming the object of ridicule. Prominent clan leaders have approached the Khan, offering to strengthen our rule, though some would say that relying on others to enforce this unity makes for an unstable peace. Re rely on the tribes, 20 horde unity, they gain 10 influence for 20 years, or they lose 10 loyalty. I'm going to gain the horde unity and the influence. That seems fine. Um, we definitely need the, uh, need the horde unity to be up. Otherwise, we're gonna um, gonna have some problems as it takes down before we can go to war with Chagatai. They're in position. These guys are almost in position. Alright, that one was taken care of. Oh, that one was taken care of even faster than that one was. Okay, sweet. We did it. Back down to nothing. Ooh, we're making five ducats a month now. It's because of Horde Unity? 
affects national unrest. The land of six provinces in Central Asia. Maybe it was over here. I think they shared that with us willingly, too. Man. She is zealots all over Port Persia. Assassination of a noble. Um, we had this event before. We can lose 15 Horde Unity or 50 Administrative Power. I think I'm going to lose the Horde Unity again. It's just admins too valuable. We'll be able to take the next, the last military idea soon. Um, unfortunately, we have to pay the extra 10% because of corruption, but I think it's better to just take it now. Especially when we want to get caught back up in military tech. Ming is on tech 8, Chagatai is on tech 7. Um, so we really need to get to tech 7 in the next ten year, in the next 5 years. Can we? Uh, expect to have enough power to do it in 1501. Since we're making so much money, I'm going to go ahead and hire a military advisor again. Land maintenance modifier guy. Hey, we just got a free conversion. Sweet. And hopefully he'll like at least somewhat balance it out, like paying a ducat, a ducat and a half for him. But uh, he's making all our troops cost ten percent less. Um, so um, they're twenty percent less. Well, they're a bunch of percent less. Uh, I'm not sure how much he's bringing it down by. I could have checked by looking, you know, before I hired him, but I'm too lazy to do that. Got these guys possibly firing at some point. And our mission is to accumulate money, that's right. Sure, take our admin points. How many years is it gonna take now? December 1500, sweet. So that's basically when we're going to declare the wars in December 1500. Once I hit the accumulate money threshold, I'm gonna go ahead and raise host again to get some more cav. I could build a building, but uh, got the mission right now, so we will wait. I would really love to get another rival or two, but I can't really do that right now. I'd also love to get this discovered so I can even go to war with my rival. But we also can't do that right now. It's probably going to give me Muscovy as a rival as soon as I border them. And if I were to be able to ally Muscovy, they'd probably never help in a war with Ming. Although Ming is like at least somewhat close to them from here to here. The Ming Sphere. A part of the Ming Tributary Sphere, we are becoming increasingly part of the wider Ming cultural world. The Jinghui language could be heard in the streets and even high halls of Giran, and there's a growing awareness of the cut of our country and the Empire of Ming. Ten prestige and Manipur's uh, opinion of me goes up, or five horde unity and Chagatai's opinion of me goes up. Um, five horde unity isn't very much. I think the ten prestige is more valuable, especially I don't really want Chagatai to like me anyway. We lost another general. Fantastic. I did forget to un, uh, unappoint him from the army, so that's partly my fault. Be able to take the next espionage idea, which will give us 25% more possible banners and another diplomat. So that'll be really good. Um, let me see something real quick. Okay, I have no triggered modifiers that we can in get. We do have a 100% spy network with the Chagatai. Um, I really need you not to ask for military points, bro. That set me back a month or two in terms of getting tech. I could have denied it, but um, I don't. Denying it makes Ming lose a lot of trust with you, and I am very scared of them. So, extra banners and an extra diplomat. Wave of Obscurationism. Uh, it's either the negative two unrest or the ten prestige. Um, we're going to take the negative two unrest again. And then I have another diplomat to... Uh, automate. There should be no countries that are threatening towards us. So 
let's just go with two in neighboring countries. And I'll just leave, like, I've got five diplomats. I'll just leave one free to be able to declare wars and such. That's typically what I do anyway. Um, I also don't need this fort at all anymore. If we're fighting a war where they're sieging all the way down to the tip of Korea, that's other than against Ming, uh, we are kind of having a problem. Like, maybe it'd be good if the J Japanese tried to invade through Korea, but other than that. Marital bliss. Um... Ten Horde Unity and the Wang family will consider us to be in their debt, or five Prestige. I think I'm actually going to take the Mer the Horde Unity on this one. We really, I mean, keeping it up above 70 is helping. Uh, let's go ahead and... Muscovy just enacted a Golden Era. So we definitely don't want to fight them for 50 years, although I don't think that was the plan anyway. Let's go ahead and send these armies out to the west. Split them up. And raise the host. This this mission should be finishing up any second now. Oh, it jumped up to 233. Well, never mind. It won't be finishing up any second now, but soon. And um, that's going to be it for this episode. Nothing really happened, but we're getting to the point where things are going to start happening again. Thank you guys so much for watching. You have been wonderful. If you enjoyed the content, feel free to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment. Um, let's go back to India over here. Like, Malwa is a lot bigger than it was before. Orissa's gotten a little bit bigger. Delhi is sitting about the same size. I mean, up, update me. Who do you think is going to win in this little uh, in the in the in the battle for India between these guys? I mean, Vijayanagar has a pretty big advantage right now, but that doesn't mean they're going to come out on top. Or maybe maybe Persia will come in here and mess everybody up. Who knows? Um, speaking of getting messed up, the Mamluks are getting full full uh, full occupied by the Ottomans over here, but that's not entirely surprising. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time.